oh my God, there's too many people, too many grown up people. Where did he go? I looked around trying to find the man who had so kindly offered to help me buy a loaf of bread. I stepped back out of the shop and I realized he was nowhere to be found. I realized he stole my money. What will I tell my mom? It's Monday morning, 7 a.m. And as I walked home from the shop that day, dressed in my clean, starched, iron to perfection school uniform, hair combed with two blue bows, my six-year-old self began to cry. For as long as I can remember, that has been my identity, the rescuer. We can't do it, asked Cheryl. We don't know the words, the right words, asked Cheryl. Ask Cheryl, she'll know what to do. Cheryl doesn't need help, she knows what to do. This has been my identity in my family for as long as I can remember. I come from a large family, six girls and one boy, and my parents too. But as the oldest for my father, Caribbean family dynamics, I was always called upon to represent my mother and father's role. But not just for them, for my siblings too. That was my worth. So imagine my surprise at age 25, just being asked one more thing to do in the day. Fill this up, complete this, go here for us. I mustered up my courage and I said, damn it, ask someone else to do it. You have six other children. That was the day my identity as I knew it was shaken to the core. My value to my family was shaped by what I did for them. That was my identity. And out of sheer frustration and exhaustion, making my own request, my identity was lost. For many years, it felt like forever. I realized my family did not see me as the person who has always stepped up for them, supported them, encouraged them, spoke up for them, stood up for them. It was my duty. And if I'm not that person, who am I really? It hurt. The realization hurt. After all these years, I had no value and no worth. No one truly wanted just me. Without me doing and being at their beck and call, no one needed me. I threw myself into my work. And as I counseled one person after another, I began to find identity and value for Cheryl. And I really liked her. I enjoyed how people's lives changed who sat with me. And I realized when I facilitated changes in others, I was changing too. What I learned is I really enjoyed helping people. I've had a lifetime of doing it. I'm a slow learner, but I learn. Families shape our identity. But what we are shaped as chi in childhood can give us the power and the strength to decide who we will become today. We are strong enough, we are powerful enough to choose what we keep and what we leave behind. Has there ever been a moment in your life when you have asked the question, who am I? What's my purpose? The answer is there, within. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, and keep going. Because now I know I am the wisdom whisperer, inspiring others to achieve peace through words of wisdom. Thank you.